Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. Four proven, tried and tested tips that you can use right now to create a remarkable competitive business within a crowded niche. And this can happen even if nobody has ever heard of you. Well, I know if you're a coach or consultant, your business has to stand out in a sea of me too consultants and coaches out there. If your business doesn't stand out, you get lost in the noise of your industry. And if you want a business that's remarkable, profitable and enjoyable, I suggest you tune into this episode as we're going to be telling you how you can actually grow your business and compete with the big players. Now, I know the biggest problem that faces a lot of um, consultants, coaches, and entrepreneurs there is marketing. And marketing is just one aspect of running a successful business. I know coming from hiring, managing new stuff, new systems, balancing books, it all drives entrepreneurs, coaches, and consultants crazy. And driving growth is just one of those elusive things that a lot of people don't quite know how to do, especially if you're in a crowded niche. Okay. So the questions you might have now is how do I stand out? How do I literally work and not be overworked or frustrated or anxious, you know, in order for you to achieve your intended outcomes, goals, and objectives, whereby you just want freedom and financial, you know, security for yourself and your loved ones. You know, it just feels like a constant balancing act where you're pulled from multiple different directions all at once. Yeah. And at the end of the day, your real goal is to help your clients. This is what your passion is to deliver the transformation that you absolutely know how to do it. And you want to spend as much time as possible changing the lives and solving people's problems. You don't want to waste countless hours each and every week trying to navigate the complex world of social media or online marketing, etc. You know, and Certainly, you don't want to spend yet another minute on the phone having to beg people to hire your services. And fortunately, let me tell you something, you don't have to. You know what I mean? You see, I, I don't. And I, I'm the last person I actually thought I was going to be successful in this whole industry, you know, coming from Africa where I knew no one, had no connections, didn't even go to university in Australia, no alumni. But guess what? I'm amongst one of the top uh, digital marketing agencies here in Australia, and we're still growing, even if it's a crowded niche. You know, I know right now you're listening and following our content because at least you know we're a trusted, trusted and reputable source. You know, I still have a long list of clients who want to work with me. It's not because I'm a genius or it's not because, you know, I, I, I did something remarkable, you know. And it's not because I'm a master of persuasion, what other people might think or whatever. It's just because I follow a simple system that works. All right. Why fix what is not broken? So if you're wondering what that is, you might as well maybe start off with booking a free consultation with me and you can discover how you can actually scale your service business. And I'll show you how to get high ticket leads on autopilot using my online prosperity method. But like I said, starting off with the video, with the podcast, I mentioned if your business doesn't actually stand out, you get lost in the noise of your industry, you know? Like it or not, some products or services naturally have a lot more competition than others. You know, mobile phones, everybody has to have one. So obviously the competition is steep, all right? Um, you know, 
certain activities like going to the gym or being a personal trainer, you usually just get relegated, um, you know, by price if you don't know how to differentiate yourself enough. Even if you have got a high quality offering, you know, it, it can be surprisingly easy for you to get lost among a sea of me too or similar competitors out there. Now, when you're trying to gain traction or even money, you know, money, you're trying to get money to feed your family and just live a happier existence, your target audience, your positioning of your product or your service is under threat from every other competitive offer that's out there. And you really need to stand out in order for people to remark your services and in order for people to actually tell their friends about you at a barbecue. Because with a unique value proposition, you can actually make your offer that much more appealing to your potential customers. But these days, a value proposition, you need to get that message to the right audience. You could have the best service, the best equipment, the best solutions, but if the right person who has the right temperament and has the right problem that you can solve does not hear that message, I don't think you exist in their world. So while the exact recipe for competitive offer can be, um, you know, you can fine tune all of that stuff, you know, on your product, you can have the best uh, features, the best benefits, that you're selling, or you might have the right combination, or you custom tailor that to your audience, it might help you gain major headway in your niche, but you need the following four key ingredients in order for you to actually be remarkable and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now picture this, you know, being positively remarkable is one of the key steps for you to actually have a business that's profitable. You know, there's an old adage that says, sell the sizzle, not the steak. I think that's over. That is now antiquated. And whoever still thinks you just need to do enough in order to bring people across to you, I think they are suffering. You see, we live in a world whereby if the steak is not good, that's grand opening, grand closing. The business is over. People talk. And I think prior to social media, you know, a dissatisfied um, customer would at least tell 11 people. And that's according to research. Now, they don't tell 11 people. They go on 11 platforms that have a thousand people minimum. You know, they go on Facebook, they go on Twitter, they tweet about it, and then they put it on Instagram all of that stuff. So you want to make sure that you're delivering the steak, not just the sizzle anymore. You know what I mean? And, and nowadays, you know, one of the things that we do at Live Long Digital is help people with uh, search engine optimization. And one of the things that really helps you get good ranking is good reviews on your business. And a bad review can actually be indexed on Google and that could haunt you for years to come. So, in other words, if people see your business as remarkable for the positive reasons, you know, all of the factors that we're going to be talking about begin working in your favor. Because if people love what you do, they'll tell thousands of people because one tweet, one Facebook post, or one Instagram post will reach thousands of people instantly. And the payoff of being remarkable is so immense. Now, for, for one thing, it actually reduces your marketing costs to zero. Because if people are talking about you, they literally become your ambassadors. And can you imagine a world where you don't actually have marketing costs for you to actually be, do, and have a happier existence? You are literally being paid to run your business because a lot of people are doing it on your behalf. You know, so when you have a remarkable de de delivery of your product or your service, it actually attracts attention and the velocity and the amount um, that you'd have to spend on your marketing will actually, you know, leverage you into audiences that never knew of your existence. Now, today, your job is to cook a great steak. I want to repeat that. You 
order cook a great steak and let your customers create the season and especially these days where people don't even go to restaurants you have no opportunity to let the table across see the season you know all you have is a brown bag that is delivering on uber eats so your marketing team is now the clients that are happy about the food that you're creating or the work or whatever it is that you're delivering to them your marketing team is now comprised of your clients and your long term uh, lead generation strategy is the brilliant work that you're doing you know we've talked a lot about pro promotions and how to be in front of your audience etc 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 but at the end of the day i really want to stress that being remarkable is the best marketing strategy and the word remarkable means worthy of being talked about i i really want to stress this a little bit because a lot of people don't quite realize because they say if you ask them oh how do you get your business and they say oh word of mouth word of mouth but they're not very remarkable pe people there's nothing about them that actually make sure that they are an aspiring leader who's committed to developing maybe an authentic and influent influential sort of uh, persona or brand out there yeah the word remarkable means worthy of being talked about so in order for you to build a business and so that you can stand out in front of you know me two businesses out there you need almost all of your clients to be talking about you in a positive way and the real test for your business to pass whether you know it's worthy of being talked about is to hear what people are actually saying you know are people speaking positively about your services after they've made a purchase are they leaving you a review will they share your story will they share your posts will they recommend you to their friends at a barbecue will they recommend your um you know products at the gym or at church or wherever it is that they meet other people within social distancing that's that's it would 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 a customer link to your blog from your website citing that you're providing valuable content you know is your brochure worth passing on to a friend you know when i'm walking in the streets and somebody passes me their brochure it's just a simple way of saying hey here you throw this away for me i got more to 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 throw away is your service worth tweeting about would people take a selfie in your showroom would people take a selfie in your gym would people want to be associated with your brand that's what being remarkable is would i take a photo of your product and upload it onto facebook or instagram would somebody make a youtube video about how you wonderfully treated them or how your staff treated them uh, on their last visit or would your staff tell your friends that they should um you know buy from your business because they enjoy working there and you buying and and their friends buying from that business means they securing their their friends job you know would a competitor say that they would like to to be you or they would uh, you know base their systems processes and strategies around what it is that you're doing would newspapers write a positive story about you would you get free media just being a consultant or a coach cuz if you answer yes to any of these questions then you're positively remarkable you know don't just think about one aspect of your business the whole lot has to be positively remarkable if you're going to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable you know so one way of you standing out and doing uh this certain things is to maybe look at your pricing you know how are you approaching the market really how are you approaching the market because there's no beating around the bush pricing will always be an integral part of the offer that you make to prospective customers because they are comparing you against at least something else that they know how to measure now there was a there was a survey that was conducted um you know by the scientists at uh, Stanford there you know they found that 79% of customers will try to find the lowest price while 78 say they will actively compare prices between stores and wherever they're making a purchase from so 
in your industry, there's somebody who's always going to be cheaper, better, faster. How are you going to combat that? How are you going to then stand out if maybe your prices are middle of the road? So some people, you know, they, they make an assumption, you know, they assume that simply making prices lower than your competitor will give them a distinct advantage. It doesn't work like that. You know, targeting the lowest price is also a race to the bottom because you know what? It's not the best solution because pricing that is too low could impact your perceived quality because people will always value things that they have had to pay a lot for. And if you're charging lower than what other people are doing in the marketplace, not only will it hurt your own profit margins, but people will just be like, man, if this is that cheap, it must not be that good. So perception in the marketplace. You see, you can't win at these things. You just got to make sure you get it right. You know, I was talking to one of my friends who has got a tea uh, business. And then I was saying, you are helping people consume a beverage that has to be balanced to perfection. If you put in too much sugar, the tea is horrible. If you put in too much water, you weaken the flavors. If you make it too hot, it's not drinkable. So it just has to be perfect. And if you know how to make a perfect cup of tea, why are you not balancing every aspect of your business? And she just started thinking and thinking and thinking. And I saw the cogs actually turning in her head. Now, you may wish to consider maybe alternative pricing options that give you perceived value, something that people cannot compare you on. So you might try packaging your products. You might try uh, tiering your prices, you know, you know, according to the value that you're giving to them at that particular time or starting a subscription service. You know, while you should always pay careful attention to maybe what your competitors are charging, you may not want to make it very explicit or very comparative. You know, only people like Sam Walton, who built a business of, uh, around being the cheapest, they're the ones that are surviving in, 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 in their business. Because once you go for the lower prices, you're going to hurt your margins. And when you hurt your margins, you're going to start skimping corners. And when you start skimping corners, guess what happens? You can't provide the service to the people that have said, okay, fine, let's work with, with you. And we're going to go back to that Stanford study again, because I, I want to really hone down to this, that these things are matter of science. It's just not me sitting here and talking about it. You know, they, they found out that at Stanford, they did another study because if you directly advertise comparative uh, pricing, you're making it easy for people to actually compare you apples to apples. And you actually cause customers not to buy anything from you because if you just somehow become a little bit expensive than the alternative, they go for the cheapest. So you want to set your pricing competitive, but also let your customers discover the difference of what you're offering by themselves instead of trying to manipulate them based on, um, you know, saying you're the cheapest. Because in any industry, there's somebody who's always going to be cheaper, somebody who's going to be better, somebody who's going to be faster, but they are the only you in your industry. So what is your own unique take and how are you going to be making a difference in the people's lives that you're going to be touching? And this is how you make a difference. You make customer education a top priority. I hope you're taking notes because I know that what I'm saying right now, obviously is recorded, you know what I mean? But I'm going to say it once. It, people come to the internet to get information. And if they're getting that information from you, then they definitely get to know, like, and trust you. And people do business with those they know, like, and trust. You know, while, while it's true that maybe some products and services will naturally require more customer education than others, every brand, especially yours, can make educational content a cornerstone in your marketing strategy. Because if you're educating people, you are not giving them that angst of not wanting to engage because they're afraid to be sold to. And this goes beyond just having a, uh, um, you know, a lot of uh, consultants that I see, they have a FAQ section within their website or maybe a couple of tutorial videos, which are literally sales videos in disguise and on how to use their product or how to approach them, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, this can work. 
but it's only just the tip of an iceberg of the actual education that you want to be showing your customers because your role as a coach or consultant is to help your customers be do and have a happier existence whichever way that your product or services can support so educating your customers can actually play a crucial role in your sales process because what then happens is you create what's called a permission asset because if you give somebody something and don't expect anything in return they're going to want to reciprocate and the only way they can reciprocate is using their wallet paying for your services that is right so customer education can actually be your strongest marketing um you know um differentiator because some people are just not generous enough to give information out there let me tell you one other thing we have gone way past the information era we are now in the implementation era so you want to give people as much information as possible just so that they can come back to you and say you know what why don't you just implement this in our business because already if you already know what we need to be doing you must know how it's done that's the biggest secret of this podcast if you haven't noticed because my whole job is to expand your mind as to what is possible and eventually we are hoping you would buy stuff from us so whether it's sales calls, emails, blogs, podcasts like this, explaining the benefits of your products and your services with case studies and other meaningful content will actually help the decision makers to place that credibility and authenticity on you saying that you will be the person that can help them achieve their goals. So if you make customer education one of your strong efforts, you will be head and shoulders above your competition because everybody else out there is lazy. And if you're actually creating high value content, which is actually appreciated in your niche, guess what? People will share that stuff. And this could actually entail things like, let's say you're maybe a landscaping company and you are offering people how to, you know, um, take care of the lawn. So seasonal lawn care tips, or maybe you, you own a CRM software and you share with your customers, maybe onboarding best practices because the more people know about how to use your product the more they will actually engage in it and eventually buy from you so a steady flow of high value content actually helps your brand become more than just a product or service in the mind of your customers it actually becomes an authoritative source in in your industry and guess what if people now use your uh, content as a benchmark guess what they would actually buy from you eventually just to uh, you know acknowledge and to thank you for having helped them at a time where they needed the content most you know and once you're doing that just go above and beyond with recurring value-based services as you can tell you get paid in direct proportion to the value that you're bringing to the marketplace like, I kid you not, I kid you not. Recently, I spoke to um, a lady called Vanessa, and she's a coach and consultant who basically works with um, uh, business owners, executives, and aspiring leaders who are sort of committed to developing an authentic and influential leadership. And we were just talking that a lot of leaders are coming into um, a, a new workplace that never existed when they left when uh, during the lockdown because they're coming into a place where people are still with angst they don't know whether to work from home they don't know whether they should come to work etc etc and you know what during our call what Vanessa explained she said your value as a company increases significantly when your focus is on your customer and your team's needs you know, by providing, you know, all this value to make sure that they're comfortable, that they, they can work there and you, you add all this value to them, they will feel, you know, obligated to actually want to understand what it is that you're offering. Because everyone out there is just screaming, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, you know? So Vanessa continued and then she said, you can provide value-added service at each stage of your customer experience, you know, with, with, by customizing the experience for your customers you can offer maybe free shipping loyalty program ongoing account management you know upgrades just show people there is active and perpetual movement in your business and your customers journey
you know the key the key question to to ask when considering potential value added services does this actually add value am i making somebody else's life better because if you're not making anybody else's life better you're wasting your time so a lot of coaches consultants and business owners that listen to their customers and focus on alleviating their headaches will will definitely uh be head and shoulders up above anybody else who's doing nothing and when your customers needs are met they reward um you know you with either loyalty and trust and eventually buying from you and that's where enduring value is and it's as simple as that you know quite often you know once you 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 notice a lot of people just run into talking about the features of their uh product services or whatever courses that they're doing and not offering any value at all just take a look at what your competitors in your niche are doing and see if they're offering any value besides the price of their products and this can actually help you identify the the gap in the service experiences that are currently being provided in your niche and once you target this areas you actually create greater value for your customers and you would definitely start standing out and this also helps increases your value within the business it might take a bit of while like we are doing this podcast every single day you know just so that we can be of value and be in front of the audience that we want to um help out and once you do that just do it with heart or maybe just attach your brand to a cause so that you're not just out there saying hey buy from us buy from us you're actually helping the world helping the environment or whatever it is that is aligned with your brand because today's customers are more closely aligned with causes than ever before and they pay attention when people are you know um you know showcasing their values and brands line up to their ideals You know brands can no longer you know your brand or being a coach or consultant you can no longer exist in a vacuum right but don't worry though it's usually effective not to do any branding or support any causes or be political or anything like that you just want to be in and around where your customers are having conversations and what that does is it just helps you humanize your brand and makes it more appealing to like-minded customers because people like us do things like this and once you get people on board intellectually emotionally then you can actually get their hard-earned dollars um you know because they know that their money is helping the world a better place through your products and services now I kid you not with the right messaging the right promotional strategy you can actually ensure that your products and your services will rise above the noise in a crowded niche and even more importantly after you've gotten all these customers and and, co- and clients uh through your offers they can actually start experiencing a first hand level of quality um that your business has to offer and that's where repeat business and word of mouth actually start paying big 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 dividends in the long run at the end of the day we're here to leave we're here to learn and we're here to contribute and like i said right at the beginning of this podcast i really want to show you how to get high ticket leads on autopilot and we use what's called the online prosperity method okay and this prosperity method is just a simple four step system that i developed by, <laughs> i literally threw away the stale marketer's rule book and i adopted cutting edge new approach which basically meant i was targeting the right people with the right pain with the right product and the right payoff and then once i got that i started engaging them and educating them while inspiring them and positioning my business and providing value in the process And once we done that we stopped hunting for customers we actually started farming because we were creating our own market within um a crowded industry and we started solving our clients problems and we were not selling and all we just had to do was measure what was working we kept what wasn't working we ditched and did a little bit of online marketing there with a few calls to action with videos and podcasts like this essentially we started having brand um ambassadors and lo- people that were loyal because we were giving them value 
And we had a community that built around us. You will hear about the community at the end of this podcast. And I now have authority with my industry and I've got relationships with clients and I've got relationships with um, other industry leaders and I've branded my business. All right. So I can show you how to use this system and you can skyrocket the growth of your own service business. If you go to our consultation page, which is livelongdigital.com.au uh, forward slash OPB, which is the online prosperity blueprint. I viscerally, viscerally want that you get more than you are getting right now. And I know you are destined for greater heights and a whole lot more than you are actually um, t t taking on right now. Because I want you to be, do and have a better um, existence than what you are because the more you go out there and you're showcasing your worth you will be able to then help out and make this world a better place all right so at the end of the day I, I really wish you all the best and I really wish that you take on um, whatever information we're giving you on this podcast to be do and have um, you know a happier existence all right I'll see you Tomorrow, if you are subscribed to this uh, podcast, if you're not, why not? Bye for now. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the live long digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au